is to show y'all Herod, if Christ, if the prophecy of Christ was for all nations, right. why would Herod, as we know, was of the Edomite nation, why would he try to kill his own savior? Mm. Somebody make it make sense. Somebody make it make sense. Y'all ain't adding up. Christianity doctrine ain't adding up today. Right. Play the video. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Who cares how black you are? <laughs> in the 30s, in the 20s, in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, the Ku Klux Klan had the same cheap, weak, frail teaching. Paul. Pause, pause, pause. So now, y'all, this is what I took. These Christians, they liars. <laughs> He's comparing IUIC to the Ku Klux Klan. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if y'all know who the who the KKK is or what they're about. Right. But we're gonna give you a history lesson real quick. Please press play. In the period following the Civil War known as Reconstruction, the United States Congress enacted a series of laws that gave blacks the rights of citizenship, voting, and equal protection under the law. But when blacks tried to claim those rights, Southern whites tried to deny them. In the late 1860s, white supremacist groups began to organize throughout the South. The largest was the Ku Klux Klan. The origins of the KKK are a little bit obscure. It seems to have begun in Tennessee, certainly began among former Confederate soldiers. Initially, it seemed to be given over to pranksterism, but very quickly, the KKK becomes a rubric to describe all sorts of paramilitary and vigilante groups, some small, some large, some politically connected, some relatively ad hoc, uh, that take it as their task to enforce the submission of the now free black population through violent means. The Klan's presence was especially strong in Arkansas, Georgia, Louisiana, and South Carolina, where blacks equaled or outnumbered the white population. The Klan was made up of former Confederate soldiers, some members of the Democratic Party, and those resistant to Congress's plans to reconstruct the South. They were angry that the Republican Party, who held the majority in Congress and were the ones pushing for civil rights for blacks, were forcing these changes by controlling southern state governments against the will of white residents there. Klan the members part, terrorized blacks they what? in church, terrorized blacks. at the polls, and in schools. Hold on. They intimidated teachers, forcing them to stop teaching black students. They used threats of violence to keep blacks from leaving plantations. And then the threats became real. They beat, tortured, and even murdered blacks to prevent them from voting and from serving as political leaders. Between 1865 and 1877, the Klan and other related white supremacist groups were responsible for more than 4,000 deaths throughout the South. Now, take it off. You Over 4,000 documented deaths at the hands of the Klan. Now, Gino Jennings. You got the nerve to compare your own brothers to the KKK. We need you to produce your cults. Right. We need you to show us what we are responsible for thousands of our own people deaths. Mm. That's what you got the nerve to utter out of your mouth. And y'all got the nerve to follow this man? You trust this man with your salvation? That is the, uh, right there, you see that look right there? That is the epitome of a coon. I'm telling you, that's the epitome of a coon. That's a telling you, that dude, I'm telling you, he'll give the local crackhead a dollar and a stick of winter fresh bubble gum and tell him, look, break into my church and we are going to frame these, the, what he calls the purple gang. Right. Telling the purple gang. You. Now, uh, pull up Bishop Nathaniel. So some of y'all may, y'all may have believed what Gino said because that's who, that's your God. That is your God because y'all obviously don't read the Bible. Now we're going to show you what IUIC is about real quick. Shalom. I'm Bishop Nathaniel of the Israel United in Christ. As Israel United in Christ, our mission is to gather the 12 tribes of Israel scattered worldwide. Oh. Those blacks that... Our job is to go and gather the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. It ain't 
nothing about no black supremacy. What is y'all talking about? It ain't nothing about white supremacy. We going Shalom, to Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. It ain't nothing Shalom. about white supremacy. We going to teach our people who they are and tell them to repent hey, and of, keep the commandments. All of those are just words, trigger words. Trigger words. Mm -hmm. Black people can't be supreme. Mm -hmm. We don't. We lack power. We don't implement no policies. There's no way we'll be we'll be supreme right now. Okay. There the only time we're gonna reign supreme is when our Lord and Savior there the Messiah go. returns. There you go. Press play. That's right. Latinos and Native American Indians who have been colonized and enslaved throughout the world. Christ told us in Matthew the 28th chapter. This many times you often hear the scripture. I just wanted to read it. Uh, Matthew 28. And verse 19, Christ commanded, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. When he said, Go therefore and teach all nations, the understanding is based upon Deuteronomy 4.27, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64, that the Israelites would be colonized and enslaved, taken from their homeland and scattered worldwide, like it says in James 1 and 1. Greetings to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. So our mission is to gather them and teach them that they are the Israelites and bring them back together again as that one mighty nation. Both. Ah, you can take that off the screen. So how do you how did you get the KKK out of that? Right. I need you to shut that. How did that happen? I'll show you. Give me first Maccabees. Is it first Maccabees 1121? When he hated his own people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me that. Give, give me that man. real quick. Yeah. That Bishop said he didn't we don't even mention the oppressor. Y'all say we a hate group. If we a hate group, when we be spending our time attacking the white church? Mm -hmm. Right. Let me know. That don't make no sense. Y'all don't make no sense. Y'all say we hate the white man. Meanwhile, we only spend our time to go teach our people. Right. Our people are crazy. Stop it's some powerful way. niggardry at play. Yeah, that is powerful <laughs> niggardry at work. Press oh, play, man. Let me read that. Read that. Scripture. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 11, verse 21. Uh -huh. Then certain ungodly persons. What did it say? Then certain ungodly persons. I'm going to show y'all who the ungodly people is. Remember. When Herod called him, who did he call together? The chief priest. Right. Mm -hmm. The chief. This man is a chief priest in today's society. He reports directly to the white man. Right. How do we know? Your doctrine. Your doctrine. Read. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people. Who what? Who hated their own people. The same way in the past we had individuals who sought false witness, we're going to have people who hate their own come against them. Got the nerve to compare the KKK to IUIC hmm. with no facts of what he's talking about. Oh, hell no. And you got a whole congregation, 5,000 people watching online telling them lies. Right. Read it again. Then certain ungodly persons who hated their own people uh -huh. went unto the king. What did they do? Went unto the king. Read. And told him that Jonathan besieged the tower. You see that? That's what our people do. When they hate, when they hate, they'll make up lies to, 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 to uh, compromise the mission at hand. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cap. Yeah. That's that's what brothers do that leave here too. They like said went into the king. Mm -hmm. They go run to the white man and there say, you go. "This how they do this. Yep. This how they do that." Yep. Same right. brothers tell you everything you need to know. So that's a lie. He said we the KKK. That's another lie. If not, back it up with support, because we showed you what the KKK was about. It was about not letting our people have equal rights, not letting our people get an education, and they 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 went so far as to murder our people. Right. Thousands of deaths on the hands of the KKK. We a public group. We on social media. We out. We go to the streets and tell you where we at. Right. We teach every week, every day. Mm -hmm. So where's these murders at? Hmm. Show it to us. Show it. Hey, but Cap, like, like Deke said, those trigger words. Mm -hmm. And then when the doors open and they finally come out, because what these pastors doing now is they holding them. 
trying to trying to wait us out. Right, right. But right. when they when they open the doors and let them out, you can see the disdain on our people. Right. They when already. They see us. Yep. They already got. Like a they already got yeah. hatred for. There us. you go. Security. There you go. They prepping. Security. They prepping. Uh, did you have something on that? No. Go ahead. All right. Press play. In the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, the Ku Klux Klan had the same cheap, weak, frail teaching. Pause. They called them. The hell I don't remember the KKK coming out of the Bible teaching that the blacks are the Israelites and they got to repent. Y'all remember that? No, sir. I don't remember them saying that, that Jesus Christ was a black man, that God was a black man. I don't remember that. No, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. In that video you just showed, uh -huh. it showed that uh, a lot of that was political. Mm -hmm. it was, that ain't had nothing to do with nothing us. Nothing to do with us. Nothing. First play. They call themselves white Christians. Burning crosses. Their uniforms, white sheets. White pillowcases. And their bigot belief, all heaven would be white and black folk had no chance of being saved. Now, damn, damn kind of sound like here. <laughs> <laughs> so he went into the heaven part. We got to touch that real quick. Mm -hmm. We got to touch that because guess what? Heaven is going to be black. It ain't going to be white. Oh, it yeah. is going to be black. And That's it is right. going to be not only black people, but it's going to be Israelites only. Mm -hmm. Understand that. Let's get into that real quick. Let's start at Luke 1. Luke chapter 1. Bring it out. This is in the New Testament, Gino. Y'all said they read the Old Testament. Right. They go to the other. They're going to read a bunch of scriptures. Yeah. This is Luke. This is Luke, Gino. I don't know if you know Luke is in the New Testament. Oh, Lord. This is the glorious gospel. <laughs> that you claim you teach. Right. Why you ain't never read this to your congregation? Start at 68. The book of Luke, chapter 1, <laughs> verse 68. Uh huh. Blessed be the Lord God of. Hold Israel. on, dang. Why is that word keep popping up in the New Testament? Mm -hmm. I thought it was only Greeks in the New Testament. I thought it was only all nations in the New Testament. Right. Read it again. Bless what? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. <laughs> Get doggone it. You, re you got to be reading this room. For he had visited and redeemed his people. His people is Israel, y'all. Read. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Uh-huh. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Uh-huh. Which have been since the world began. Now here it go again, y'all. Where is the prophecy of Christ saving all nations? Because Luke says, as it's been since the world began, right. by the mouth of his holy prophets. Right. So he's letting you know, hold on. This whole story of Christ is based upon the Old Testament. So, so there's no contradiction <laughs> in the Bible. There you go. No contradiction. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, you have that? No, in the verse you read, he's named all Israelites. There you go. David, the prophets. <laughs> those are all Israelites. This is the first. So he's letting you know, in the New Testament, I'm picking right back up where I left off at. Hmm. Now, let's read some of these prophecies that have been since the world began. Let's start at Jeremiah 30 mm -hmm. in verse 16 real quick. Because they say, they say salvation's for everybody. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right, let's see. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Uh-huh. Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured. Hold on. All that what? All that devour thee shall be devoured. I don't know about y'all, but we just witnessed the KKK killed over 4,000 people. Right. That's what was documented. Damn. That ain't your neighborhood white man that killed us. Mm -mm. There's something called the Red Summer. Look mm -hmm. it up. There's something called Tulsa, Oklahoma. Look it up. Right. There's something called uh, 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 <laughs> the Native Americans that used to live here. The, the hundred million of them, seven, seven the trail million of, tears of them. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. There's something called the Trail of Tears. Right. There's something called the Tuskegee Experiment. There right. it is. There's something called COVID-19. Mm -hmm. There's Bring something called AIDS. Mm -hmm. Read it again. But slow down, Cap. I think you're pinning his feet down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, Read it again. Therefore, all day, that all day, that devour thee. It sounds like the white man been devouring us, y'all. Right. Read. Shall be devoured. All them that devour us shall be devoured. 
So those that took us off the west coast of Africa and scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth, God says they're going to be devoured for what they did to us. Because anybody will agree that whoever those Africans were that were carried away captive, right. they got devoured. That's they got right. ate up. That right. nation got ate up. Let's say they hate the Israelites. Whoever that people was, they would be devoured. Hmm. Right. right. Read. And all thine adversaries, every one of hold them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because when you read Psalms 83, it names all the adversaries. Mm -hmm. And it's all the other nations. Read it again. And all thine adversaries. All our adversaries. Adversary mean adverse. They go against us. Right. Everybody go against the Israelites. The white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, the Japanese man. All of them go against us. What the Bible say? And all thine adversaries, every one of them, uh -huh. shall go into captivity. Hold on mm. now. Hold on. <laughs> this is what the, the Luke was making reference. Because it says by the mouth of all his prophets. Right. What book is this coming from? Jeremiah. Jer is Jeremiah a prophet? Jeremiah indeed is a prophet. Right. Jeremiah is a prophet? And he's telling us that all the nations are going to be devoured and go into captivity? Wow! Gino Jennings! You got the answer. Where's this at in your in your in your heaven? And hey, you know when he be uh teaching, he always say, I want Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so you're giving him the Bible, Cap. Keep reading. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Mm -hmm. And all that pray, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Mm. Isaiah ahead. 42, what you read up. earlier. Hey. So that's just one, y'all. That's one. Dick, you want to bring it? I want to hear some more prophecies, hey, Dick. I'm looking at the book of Psalms. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> let's go. So this is, hold on, that was one prophet. Dick finna go to another prophet mm. showing y'all what's going to happen. Psalms 149, start oh, at verse 1. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 149, mm -hmm. and verse 1. Mm. Go ahead. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Like, like Gina Jennings would say, praise ye the Lord. <laughs> oh, <laughs> go ahead. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Go ahead. And his praise in the congregation of his sa of saints. Go ahead. Let Israel. And the saints are the Israelites. That's right. Go ahead. Let Israel. There we go. Let Israel. Not all nations. Go ahead. Rejoice in him that made him. Go ahead. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. We're going to be in joyful in Christ, not Joe Biden, not Donald Trump. Go ahead. Let them praise his name in the dance. Go ahead. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. And we're going to be dancing. We ain't going to be doing that buck dance that he had his <laughs> congregation doing the other day. Go ahead. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. In his people. That's a possessive noun right there. Who's the his people? Israel. Go That's ahead. right. He will beautify the meek with salvation. He's going to beautify the obedient with salvation. Go ahead. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Come on. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Go ahead. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. The high praises of God is going to be in our mouth. Go ahead. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Why are we going to need a two-edged sword if it's going to be nothing but peace in mm. heaven? Mm. If all nations are going to be in heaven mm. holding hands, singing kumbaya with rose petals right. and lily flowers, why do we need a two-edged sword? Verse 7. To execute vengeance. To execute what? To execute vengeance. Another word for vengeance is recompense mm. or payback <laughs> for something that was done to you before in a foretime. Right. What was done to us that was wrong in a foretime? We just showed you the video with the KKK. Mm. Slavery. That was right. done to us by a race of people. Yep. It says to exe execute vengeance upon who? Upon the heathen. That's the other nations. The word heathen means nation. <laughs> Go ahead. And punishments. And punishments. Go ahead. Upon the people. Go ahead. To bind their kings. To bind their kings. Go ahead. With chains. Uh -huh. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Go ahead. To execute upon them the judgment written. Where is it written? In the mouth of the prophets. Right. In the book of the prophets. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Right. This honor have all his saints. God said this is an honorable thing. Mm. It's an honorable thing. That's when Thessalonians is said, what? It is a, a, it's a right thing right. to recompense, mm -hmm. a righteous thing to recompense those that trouble you. Yep. Right. Okay, but Gina Jennings doesn't understand that. Mm. All right, it says, this honor have all his saints. Go ahead. 
Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Get Psalms 137. Bring it out. King David has Bring some more. Out. There's a whole lot more. Hey. Go to Psalms 137. Whole lot more prophecies. We have been to pull these prophecies on their head. Because <laughs> you always, we have, they always read that, but they don't, they don't understand what they read. Right. Psalms 130, where is it? 130? Oh, verse 7. Or... 137 and verse 7, yes. Yep. The book of Psalms, chapter 137, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Gina Jennings, newsflash. The children of Edom is the so-called white man. Right. Those That's are right. the children of Edom. Right. His biblical name is Esau. His name was later changed to Edom. Go ahead. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem. In the day of Jerusalem, when Babylon came and came to destroy Jerusalem. Go ahead. Who said, raise it, raise it. Who said, destroy it, destroy it. Go ahead. Even to the foundation thereof. Even to the foundation thereof. Go ahead. O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of who? A daughter o ba o of Babylon. daughter of Babylon. That's why America is called Babylon the Great. Right. Who runs and rules America? The so-called white man. Okay, that's why they call him the daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Future tense, prophecy, and there's nothing you can do. You can hoot and holler. You can you can uh, speak with arrogance. You could call him up on stage and say, well, your skin and my skin, <laughs> and we bleed the same blood. You could, all of that is nonsense. Go oh, ahead. Lord, Happy shall he be that rewarded <laughs> thee as thou hast served us. Go ahead. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Because that's mm. the same thing that they did to us. Let's that's get right. one more. Let's get one more. Get me the one where it says um, 108 and verse 9. Yep. <clears throat> the book of Psalms, chapter 108, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Moab is my wash pot. Moab is the so-called Chinese. God said that they are the wash pot. Go ahead. Over Edom. Well, I cast out my shoe. You cast your shoe at peasants. You cast your shoe at, at servants. How is he going to cast his shoe at Edom? They're going to be in a state of servitude. Mm. That's why we go and you go to the book of Revelation. You had right. that? Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you good, D. You want it? Give me Revelation. <laughs> Bring it out, D. <laughs> Revelation 21. I want the gates. Because there's a clip. I don't know if you got that clip where he was making mockery. I don't care if you found the tribe of Judah. <laughs> no. I don't right, care right, if right. Nestale, <laughs> Asher, God, Benjamin. Well, let's see if let's see if God cares. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. What are we reading? The kingdom of heaven. In the Christian church today, they tell you everybody, all nations is going to be in the kingdom right. of heaven. That's right. That's not true. Let's find out what nations are going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 big, black, scary <laughs> angels with big, black feet and big, black hands. And dirty, black skin, according and to dirty, <laughs> dirty, black skin. <laughs> okay? They're going to be the security guards. Right. You ain't getting through that gate. All right? If you're if you from the tribe of Judah, you're going to walk through the, the gate for the tribe of Judah. If you're from the tribe of Levi, you're going to walk through that gate. Go ahead. And names written thereon. Well, let's see what names are written thereon. Let's see if we find Italian, Irish, okay, and all them other names. Go ahead. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The 12 tribes of the children of the same names that he was making mockery of. Go ahead. On the east, three gates. On the east, three gates. That's three. On the north, three gates. That's six. On the south, three gates. That's nine. And on the west, three gates. And that's 12. 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead. And the wall of the city had 12 foundations, mm -hmm. and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And the 12 apostles of the Lamb. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana 
Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth